Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, we're going to be going over one of the largest electric vehicle charging station companies in the world, ChargePoint. They just had an earnings report, and it blew everyone out of the water. Where they was, ChargePoint was viewed as a spec, and when as all specs was out there was getting killed, ChargePoint emerged out of all of these specs to be a very successful company. If we're thinking about the future, ChargePoint is an electric vehicle charging station, one of the largest um, charging stations companies in the world. Now that is like um, us investing into Exxon, um, Shell, all the oil companies. When Ford built the first combustion engine car, that is like us investing into the oil industry then, knowing that, hey, in the very future, we will be owning a piece of every gas station that Shell and Exxon, and all these other gas companies have built. So us investing into pretty much any charging station company right now, uh, if we think in 10, 20 years down in the future, we will be very rich. But the one that I like the most is ChargePoint. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the earnest report. We're gonna do a technical analysis and why I love what this company is doing right now to make me pick them over all the other electric vehicle charging stations out there, guys. So make sure you stick out the entire video so you don't miss any important information. But before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and now you can receive two free stocks valued up to $2,300. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you can sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money. Also, there's a brand new brokerage out up there called Moomoo. Moo. And we all know when there's a new brokerage out, they're giving away tons of free stocks just to get users to sign up. So right now, if you sign up with Moomoo, Moo, deposit $100, you'll receive all kinds of free stocks just from joining that platform as well. And they have a ton of other ways that you can earn free stocks on that app. So don't miss out on that great opportunity while a company is so giving, guys. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on charge point ticker symbol CHPT. So let me show you guys exactly what happened after hours when they had did their earnings report for Q2. Here we go guys. So charge point was around $21.09. Now when we do our technical analysis, we know that charge point has almost quadruple bottom at around $20. So we expected them to shoot up during the earnings report, but not this much guys. They went from being down 1.4% on the week to being up nine percent on we saw a, a 10 percent difference in the earnings report so they had a lot of great things to say about this company a lot of people were wondering if it's overvalued at 20 dollars. well no as you guys can see it shot up a lot of people started to collect profits and it started to pull back so is charge point at a fair price right now for us to get in at at 22 dollars and 11 cents well let's take a quick look at the earnings report and try to figure a little bit of this out here we are on yahoo finance they pretty much did a, a summary over charge points earnings call okay so here we go the quarterly revenue increased 61 percent year over year all right so that's amazing guys charge point have over a seven billion dollar market cap and for it to still be increasing 61 percent year over year that is amazing all right so the full year revenue guidance raised 15 percent to 225 to 235 million dollars 15 percent guys just last year alone they expected it to be around 198 million dollars which is important in the company because you don't have your ceo out there um, overvaluing, overestimating your company. In fact, they're underestimating their company. Last year, during this time, they predicted that it should be around $198 million, was actually around $235 million. So um, it's very important that they're underestimating their company and not having a bad CEO out there um, overhyping the company, over overdoing everything just to raise the stock price of this company. In fact, they're low balling it. So when great things happen, like this earning reports, the price of the stock goes up, guys. And this is gonna be very important to us in the near future. So the activated ports is seated over 118,000 as of July 31st, with over 5,400 in Europe and over 3,700 DC Fed charger ports. So in the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, um, there's gonna be more and more and more electric vehicles out there on the road 
every single year it should probably double every single year from here on out to where there's eventually more electric vehicles on the road than gas combustion engines and we're going to need places to charge them the infrastructure is just not set up yet in fact president biden he has set up a bill uh, a trillion dollar bill to where the infrastructure of electric vehicle charging stations need to be increased by the year 2030 and it's a trillion dollar deal so if once they get passed the biggest charging station company in the world, AKA ChargePoint, is probably gonna get most of that money in order to set up the charging station infrastructure throughout all North America. Another great news source about ChargePoint is that they are actually acquiring smaller companies. So a company that was just a spec is now out there acquiring other companies. They acquired a company in Amsterdam, Viri City, and that allowed them to get an extra 2,500 network points um, set up over there in Amsterdam. So with a company like this already acquiring other smaller companies and acquiring different um, building companies in order to build more of their charging ports across the entire world, this is a company I wanna be invested in and, this, and that's why I invest into ChargePoint over some of these other companies. So let's do a quick technical analysis over ChargePoint to see if you guys would like to get in at around the $22 price point. Okay, here we are on ChargePoint. This is the four hour chart, so pretty much the entire year of ChargePoint being public. Let's pull out the box so I can show you guys the bottom. All right, so when I say that it had a quadruple bottom uh, right in this zone right here, there we go guys, it came down, bam, touch right here at 1950, touch right here at 1974, touch right here at 1950, touched again right here at 1962, came all the way back down, touched at $20, came back down, touched again at $20. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six times it did not want to fall below the, the $20-ish price point. And I told you guys, if charge point do fall below $20, um, that would be a great buying opportunity for me, but it just do not want to fall below $20. So um, me seeing charge point at the $20 price range might be a good thing for me. But there is a little bit of a resistance zone right here. If we draw this, out this line right here. Bam. Bam. All right. So this was a resistance zone. It had a downtrend pattern right here. But of course, when it came out with the earnings report, it shot all the way up from twenty one dollars to twenty three dollars and eighty nine cents. And then it, and people started to collect profit in the pullback. So if it does pull back to the twenty dollar price point, you will see me buy in. But if you're a swing trader and you're just trying to get in, I will wait until it breaks above the one hundred and eighty day EMA, which is around twenty five dollars. That way you could start swinging it back all the way up to around the thirty six dollar price point. In fact, let's pull out the short term Fibonacci sequence right quick go all the way down from the bottom and put that thing on up to the very top so I will wait until it breaks above the 180 day MA and probably take some profits around the $29 price point but uh I would say this if charge point does pull back around to $20 or $19.89 $19.99 I'm I'm gonna buy a bunch of more shares but if it doesn't pull back I will wait until it starts to trade above the 180 day um, EMA line and then just dollar cost in and swing trade this bad boy all the way back up to new all time high around $36. Hopefully we could get there by the end of the year or Q1 of 2022. And there we go, guys. Let me know what you think about ChargePoint down in the comment section. They had a killer earnings report. They're acquiring other companies. They're putting out charging stations all over the world. It's all of a matter of time before um, there's more electric vehicles on the road than there are gas combustion engines on the road. So let me know what you think about this strategy right here. We got to think about the future. And then this is us thinking about the future right now. What would we? What can we invest in today to where when we look back in the past 20 years from now, we would have been like, dang, I should have bought that. Of course, we've seen all of these companies coming out with electric vehicles and we should have got in on mm -hmm. charging stations. So of course, we should have done that. Don't let opportunities like this pass you by. But once again, I am not a financial advisor. Do your own research. But before we get out of this, don't forget to pick up your two free stocks from Weeble. Deposit $100, um, sign up for Momo, get your free stocks from that as well. Don't miss out on free money, guys. It's free money. But that's all I got to say. Leave a thumbs up if you made it to the end of this video and subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.